So my name is Maya, and I am the founder of Hawaii Fluid Art. I am seriously just a girl with a dream. A year and a half ago, I was in here thinking about franchising, and I listened to a very similar presentation to what you listened to today, and I knew with every single ounce of my being that I could do it. Now, other people might have thought I was crazy, and I didn't care. I literally spoke it into existence. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the story of Hawaii Fluid Art. In 2020, I needed a hobby because I was a bored corporate America girl, driving my husband crazy on the weekends, going, when are you going to be home? What are you doing? Because he had a fun hobby. And I tried everything from oil painting to whittling wood and in between, and I was terrible at all of it. And one day I was watering down some paint, and I found this way that paint would flow across. It was a paper plate at the time, but it ended up being a canvas. And I started posting my work on Facebook and people started buying it. And I was like, what's going on? And then people started asking me to teach. And I thought, I don't know anything about art, but I do know about this. So I started teaching and I opened a studio in my garage. I had a two car garage. And the first six months, I taught a thousand people fluid art which was crazy. It was during COVID. Everybody had to wear masks and gloves and stand six feet apart. And then I realized that I needed a retail location. So I opened my first retail location in the height of COVID. Crazy, right? Just nuts. But it was so successful the first month and so success successful the second month that I thought, hmm, maybe I need another one. And in the meantime, this really big housing development called Kukio had asked me to come and teach classes. And one day when I was down there, now I've taught everybody from Matthew McConaughey to Pink to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And one day when I was down there, this group of very well-known actors and actresses came to me and said, Maya, have you ever thought about franchising? And I was like, no. And they were like, you should, because everybody deserves to experience Hawaii fluid art. So they put the idea in my mind, and then I started doing the research. I was cleaning up paint, and my mind was going, franchise? That's only McDonald's. I didn't know. I didn't know that almost every business we see driving around town happens to be a franchise, and that somebody had a good idea and turned it into an empire. I didn't know that. But as soon as I found out about it, I reached out to Franchise Genesis, and I started asking questions. And I told them about my idea. And I think they probably thought, yeah, that's an okay idea. And then I kept talking about it. And then they're like, you know what? This is really a pretty good idea. So I signed on with Franchise Genesis. Fast forward, I got my FDD in August of 2021. I have to think because the time blends. But I knew I was not ready to franchise. There is so much more than just having your FDD. And Jeff talked about it earlier. You have to have a vision, a dream, but you need the infrastructure. It's very important to not only have an idea, but have a way to support your franchisees. So for nine months, I worked on everything from where to get my canvases, um, protocols, SOPs, all the way to a group medical plan for my franchisees and their employees, which is kind of unheard of from what I understand. I wanted my franchisees to experience the joy that I experience every day. I wanted them to have more than what they have right now. It is my job to serve my franchisees. It is my job to support them 100%. So now let's fast forward a little bit. So April, <laughs> April 2022, not even a year ago, I at this point felt that, and the reason I'm using I is at this point I didn't have anybody on my team. It was me and I was trying to figure it all out. So in April of 2022, I decided it was time to launch to the public. And what that basically means is, hey guys, I'm ready to start selling franchises. And right after we launched, Rudy sold the very first franchise within, I think about 10 days. It was crazy, it was fast, Miss Elva. So 
Since that time, we have blown up. Um, it's pretty surreal. We're at, I was just checking with Miss Trinity. I might get a little emotional. We're at just under 200 franchises sold. We have 60 additional people that we have FDDs disclosed to who are waiting their 14 or 21 days or however long in the process they are to be able to become part of our Hawaii Fluid Art franchise, part of our family, and that's what it is. You are not giving these, you are not selling these, you are awarding your franchise to somebody who is deserving and somebody that you want to share the next 10 years of your life with or longer. It's okay to say no. It's okay to be picky, but you gotta dream and you gotta dream big. Because if you don't speak it, how are you gonna do it? So in the next 18 months, Hawaii Fluid Art will have 500 units sold and over 100 units open in the United States. We are launching into Canada, South America, the Asian market, and we pretty sure Dubai. We'll find out shortly. <laughs> So, just a little bit more, because oh, I'm supposed to do this, but I never do. There's a bunch of really good stuff on there. Uh, here, wait, let's look at a screen. Oh, look, it's a happy accident. It all started in a garage. Oh, here's our, okay, this is important. Our mission statement, to inspire and nurture the human spirit one painting at a time. We totally believe that, that we are nurturing people and our franchisees one painting at a time. We're helping them build wealth. We're giving them freedom. We're doing so many things for them. And that brings me joy every day. And you can impact the people in your community, in your life, by partnering with the team here that knows far more than you do and far more than I do. I, I'm constantly on a text message basis with the guys and girls in the FCC and Franchise Genesis asking questions. I don't think I know. I rely on them for advice. And they have literally held my hand this entire process. And it is well worth partnering. If you have an idea that you believe in, you gotta know that you believe in it because this is one of the hardest things you are ever gonna do. But if you know that you have an idea that's worthy and that people deserve to experience or a business that's necessary in the community, Partner with the gentlemen and ladies in the back of this room and watch your dreams become reality. Because if I can do it, you can do it. And as we say in Hawaii, mahalo. And that means thank you for taking the time to listen to my story. And I'm around this afternoon. If you have any questions, never hesitate. There's no, nothing too small, there's nothing too big. I'm here if you have questions about the business, about the support that I received from the team, or just if you want to know where you can come take a class at Hawaii Fluid Art. <laughs> so thank you very much for your time.